There's a monument in downtown Cleveland that residents pass every day. But what do locals really know about it? It's a soldier monument, that's about all I know. Well, it has something to do with the war. I would say it's one of those uh, monuments that's here that not a lot of people know anything about it. Not only do people not realize what the monument stands for, but they're also unaware that there is an interior where a tour is available to educate visitors on the history and purpose of the monument. Inside the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, the walls are covered with over 9,000 names of the people who served in the Civil War from the Cuyahoga County alone. Also, there are several statues on display. All of our reliefs in the monument are bronze, life-size to scale, and when looking to the bottom, you find the names engraved. In 1894, July 4th, the monument was first erected and dedicated. Levi Schofield was the architect and sculptor who designed the monument. Levi also sculpted the four statues outside the monument, depicting the four branches of military during the Civil War. The Navy, the Cavalry, the Infantry, and the Artillery. But who is it that's on top of the monument? On top of this monument, you find a goddess of freedom. She holds in her left hand the Shield of Liberty, who protects the freedoms that we have today. Mr. Levi Schofield is probably one of the smartest men here in Cleveland. He used his wife to model for this statue. You know, it's a great memorial to the fallen soldiers. The Soldiers and Sailors Monument is a true jewel of American history for Cleveland and the Cuyahoga County. And with its recent $2 million renovation, it continues to draw more and more curious visitors today. You never know what you'll find when you visit. From Cleveland, I'm Craig Dorenzo.